welcome to Would I Lie to You at Christmas, a very special edition filled with festive fibs. On Lee Mack's team tonight, a tough tackling footballer who's now in huge demand as a commentator. In fact, he's getting almost as many bookings for his TV work as he did when he was a player. It's Chris Kamara. <laughs> And a writer, comedian, and actress who loves animals so much, she believes they sometimes write to her. Well, next door's cat certainly leaves me the odd message. It's Sarah Pascoe. <laughs> and on David Mitchell's team tonight, an award-winning actor. Oscars, Tonys, Franks, Johns and Freds. He's worked with everybody. It's Tom <laughs> Courtney. And the co-host of Pointless, who's been described as the thinking woman's crumpet. Presumably, they're thinking, I've had two bottles of Prosecco, he'll do. <laughs> it's Richard Osman. <laughs> and we begin, as ever, with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. To make things harder, they've never seen the card before, they've no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. And Richard, you're first up. Oh. I still haven't watched Breaking Bad because every time I sit down to start it, I notice there are new episodes of Holmes Under the Hammer on the planner, <laughs> and I have to watch those instead. Oh. Please do. OK, so, does, so you have a planner, so this isn't... They're not next to each other on Netflix, these shows. No, unbelievably, yeah. Holmes Under the Hammer yet to, uh, yet to break <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> I, I've genuinely never seen it. What happens in Homes Under the So there's three houses each time, and they're, they're all being sold. You see who buys them, and then they say, we're going to come back in six months' time to see what they've done to the house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> they, they renovate the house. You know, when I describe it, it doesn't sound as amazing as when I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so how many episodes of Homes Under the Hammer would you say you've watched? Well, well have I watched? What, like, ever? Goodness Well, there's too many. You, you sound like someone who's slept with so many people, they just have to round it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say a few hundred, a couple of hundred. Ooh. So the sleeping with thing, or the. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about distressed semis here, so it's. Uh, <laughs> <hope I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Give us the summary of your favourite episode. Well, see, these days it used to just have the two hosts, Martin and Lucy. And now they've gone three hosts. They've gone Martin, Lucy, and Dion Dublin is now a, a host of Homes Under the Hammer as well. Well, it was I'm... an obvious choice, wasn't it? Yeah, the exactly. ex-footballer who wants to help sell houses. Why is it? Are you suggesting we, we shouldn't have ex-footballers on television, Lee? <laughs> 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 You're a football fan as well, right? Yes, I am. If you saw Dion Dublin, would you go, "Wow, it's Dion Dublin that used to play for Man United," or would you go, "That wow, it's Dion Dublin, the bloke who presents Homes Under the Hammer"? Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rob, you haven't. Your hands are so big that when you did that, I felt a draft as well. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> so, Lee, what are your team thinking? Do you think this is true? First of all, do you believe he watches Homes Under the Hammer? No. What? Do you believe... You think he's made all of that he's up? He's too clever for that. The thing about Richard is he is very clever, but he's, like, high culture, low culture. Mm -hmm. He's one of those very well-educated, stupid here, people. I am here, you know. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? <laughs> it's seven foot two. I bet you've never had to say that before. <laughs> so you're saying it's true. true. I, you think it's. I have to go with Sarah. Though. I think it's true as well. You're going with true. Yeah. Okay, Richard. It is a lie. Oh. <laughs> it's a lie. Richard doesn't get distracted from watching Breaking Bad by new episodes of Holmes Under the Hammer. Chris, you're next. <clears throat> My full name is Christmas Kamara. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Kamara. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> Why? Because I was born on Christmas Day. Jesus was born on Christmas Day. <laughs> His name's not Christmas. <laughs> you were named Christmas because you were born on Christmas Day. That's... Yes, what happened is... My mum was having me at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it checks out so far. Yeah. <laughs> and my dad was just about to say Happy Christmas to my brother when I popped out. But my mum... You weren't expected, though, right? 
<laughs> well, so your dad you... was saying, OK, this is mid-labour, time to get some greetings in to other family members. <laughs> <members." laughs> OK, and happy... Gr and then, uh, oh, then all of a sudden I popped out and my mum thought I've heard the, heard the name Christmas, so she went... Well, that is r the rule, isn't it? That the first noise <laughs> the father <laughs> makes when a baby comes out just is the name, isn't it? <laughs> My brother was born on St George's Day, mate, uh, April the 23rd, is it? And um... He's called Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> He's called George. And there's, there's your sister, Pancake Tuesday. <laughs> 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 have you got any middle names, Chris? Must... Yes, I have. <laughs> what are they? My dad used to be in the Navy. So it was going to be Christmas Captain Cook Kamara, but they decided to call me Christmas Columbus Kamara. <laughs> Why Columbus? Because my dad was in the Navy. Yeah, was he in the Spanish Navy in the late 15th century? <laughs> <laughs> he was always his hero when he was a kid. Right. OK, so what are you thinking, David? I... Well, what do you think, Tom? Um, I'm still thinking about it. Richard. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really waiting on, on, on Tom's verdict, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> David, what I... about you? I don't believe it. No, I, I don't think... either. I oh. think it's... <laughs> I think it would be very nice, you know, on the Christmas special to have someone whose name was Christmas. Mm. But and it, I, saved, it saves us from booking Noel Edmonds. I think... I think... <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't think... I don't think people... I, I don't think Christmas is really a name. All right, so you're saying it's a lie? Yeah. OK. chris Mus. <laughs> <laughs> Truth or lie? It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. Say your name. As a child, my Christmas was once cut short when my mum took the decorations down halfway through Christmas Day. David's team. Oh, like this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was she always down on Christmas, or was what um, happened this year? Well, this year in particular. Yeah. Just halfway through Christmas Day, she's like, I've had enough. We've done the presents. Have you done the lunch? Yeah, we've done lunch. So, so let's just... What, what was the time? 2.30. OK, so pre-Queen. Oh, we don't, <laughs> we don't do the Queen in my family. I'm so sorry, David. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't listen to the Queen? No. Yes. Did it, did oh. it become...? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's the head of state. <laughs> Minutes a year, yeah. you know, and six and a half if you if you skip the bit with the trumpets. Was <laughs> it a great dramatic gesture, or was it sort of? It was quite dramatic because and we. Did you, I mean, were the I mean the things were on the ceiling. And it's taking the tree down and putting a plastic tree back into a box. The stuff on the ceiling. Did you have to get? We a didn't ladder? have stuff on the ceiling. Oh, no. Well, you had no well, no tinsel yeah. light round the room. Oh, well, no. This was, oh, this was hardly a Christmas, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> You don't, you don't watch the Queen's speech. I expect you're having a pizza. <laughs> you're having a pizza and they, she put the fake tree away like an umbrella. <laughs> Fine, pop that away. This is, this is barely worth hearing about. <laughs> was, there, was there a specific incident that, uh, that um, set her off? She was very disappointed with me and my sisters because... In general. <laughs> 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 I think I had got one present and um, I had not liked it. And so that was a bad point. And my sister Cheryl hadn't got out of bed yet. Now, tell us about your Christmas Day. I'm imagining there's a lot more structure to it. And respect is a word that, that's coming to my mind. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Rob. Oh, I don't know. I think I, I think I have quite a normal Christmas Day. I imagine uh, Bucks Fizz at 11. No, I we imagine... don't book a band. <laughs> So, David, what, are you, what is your team thinking? Could this be true? Yes, it's well, heartbreaking. Com completely rings true, I think. What do you think, Tom? Well, whatever I think would be wrong, so... Um... Well, that could be... If that's, if that's, that's 100%, that's yeah. very useful. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask her. What do you think, then? Well, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'd go with Tom, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've had an insight. Tom's had an insight. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think she's not telling the truth. Oh, what... Why, why do you think that? I don't know. It just came over me. Right. <laughs> I think she's telling the truth. But it's quite um, easy to know who to, who to side with here. 
I literally sit at home all day watching Homes Under the Hammer and you're next to a, a knight of the realm. Yeah, but I'd go with him if I were you. <laughs> True. True, you're saying it's true. Sarah, a, a tragic tale. A tragic Fact tale. Fact or fiction? This tale was... True. I told you, you see. Tom, your turn. <laughs> I kick off every Christmas morning with a bowl of cornflakes in a sea of Baileys. <laughs> Uh, oh. Lee's team. So, first of all, what's Baileys? Because you don't seem to know. What is Baileys? It's a drink, uh, sort of milky, alcoholic drink, sort of pale brown. I like the Baileys because I, I don't need the sugar. Oh, I, it's sugar it's, it's not because you're an alcoholic, you. then. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not at Christmas. So, you know. um, do you, does it make you tipsy? There must be quite a lot of Baileys in there to fill a bowl. So, do you get. Quite, no, there's, there's, a a lot, there's a lot of cornflakes in it, too. Oh, so you're flying just. I don't want to spoil the day for everyone else by. Well, for my wife, Isabel, and, are you... and our dog, Stanley. Um, I, <laughs> I don't want to spoil the day for them by getting drunk first thing, do I? <laughs> Stanley's been, had his photograph on ITV breakfast. Has he? Yeah. What Why? Do do? He does an impersonation of Maggie Smith doing an impersonation of him. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> this pause. Imagine pause, not hands. Is this Maggie in Downton, when she, where she sits yeah. like that? Yeah, a bit like that, but she, she, I think she got it off seeing Stanley. Kind of. yeah. <laughs> so this is you doing an impression of Stanley doing an impression of Maggie Smith doing an impression of Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> so your wife doesn't... Does no, she, she doesn't. Flakes? She knows this is something I did in a previous life. How know? long... Oh. In a previous um, life? When you were Henry VIII? Well, you know, when I, you know... <laughs> I was married before a long time ago. Oh, you know, in the old days, oh, got Tom, into So every time you slosh the Baileys no, on, <laughs> you may as well throw she them in her face. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, so Lee, what are you thinking? Is this really what true, Sarah? I so, I so think it's not true. That I think to be that obviously not true, it must be true. That's the conundrum I'm in. Yeah, this game's got to you. It has. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Not so, Tom. You don't believe this. You don't want to believe it, Sir Tom. Not early in the morning. Okay, so you say it's a lie. I think it's a lie. You say it's a lie. You're gonna have to. I. I. I don't. I think you might be wrong. Oh really? Well. Because it's it's a festive time of year. You might do something unusual. Yes. I do something do once a year at like Christmas that my wife lets me. That we don't do any other time of year. <laughs> it might be a similar thing. Are well, you gonna ask me what it is, Rob? What is it, Lee? Can't say. <laughs> <laughs> she has to drink four bottles of Bailey's before she'll do it. <laughs> Time to decide, Lee. What's it going to be? We're going to say it's true. We're going to say it's true. OK. Tom, truth or lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Oh! I thought it was acting. I thought it was acting. <laughs> Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. And it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Dennis. <laughs> so, Chris, what is Dennis to you? This is Dennis. We want stage a burglary to cover up for the fact that we've been bunking off school. Sarah, how do you know Dennis? This is Dennis. He's the park gardener who came to my aid when my legs turned to jelly mid-run. <laughs> and finally, Lee, what's your relationship with Dennis? This is Dennis, or as I call him, Squeaky Diesel. <laughs> I always fill up at his petrol station because his unbelievably high-pitched voice always cheers me up. <laughs> so there we have it. <laughs> is Dennis Chris's burglary buddy? Sarah's gardening angel or Lee's falsetto friend. David's team, where would you like to start? So, Chris. <laughs> yes. You, you, the two of you staged a burglary. Yes. Explain how that helped cover that you were bunking off school. Um, well, because we, when we bunked off school, it was cold sometimes. Yeah. So you had to go into a, a house. Yeah. So we went to Dennis's house. Okay. And the key wasn't where 
It normally is. Dennis's house is locked? Yes. Why didn't you then try your house? Because my mum was in. OK. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I climbed the drain pipe uh, to get in the house. Right. <laughs> so, so what... Because there was only a window open, sorry, in, in, on the second floor. And you got in uh, that way well, successfully, or not? No, not successfully. OK. To try and get the window latch down, which is down there, yeah. with my hand, my knees have gone through the window. Ah, uh -huh, right. Did right. it draw blood? No. Everything shattered that way. Shattered that way. Was it made out of windscreen glass? <laughs> <laughs> So I went downstairs oh. to let, um... Why hadn't Dennis? Den Why Dennis. Do you remember Dennis. his name? <laughs> You're your old school friend. <laughs> Why hadn't Dennis... <laughs> it's Dennis's house. Why were you having to do the climbing? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. why, I know why, because Dennis... Don't, <laughs> don't say it like you've just thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to act in this show. Right. Dennis... <laughs> <laughs> climbed up the drain pipe first. Right. Right. But his arms are not as long as mine. So when he put his window, his arm through the, the long latch window, he couldn't quite reach it. So you climb in, you go downstairs, you let Dennis in. What happens then? Well, we then realise Dennis is going to be in trouble with his mum and his dad when they get home from school. So were they Dennis... in school as well? <laughs> <laughs> were they... Were they slow learners? They were teachers! <laughs> oh, they were teachers? <laughs> at, at the school that you went to? <laughs> Not at our school, no. So what do you do, then? So, Dennis came up with this great idea of making it look like a robbery. Mm -hmm. So he said, let's break into the gas meter. <laughs> Murder a postman. <laughs> Scatter his body parts around. <laughs> We wish you a merry Christmas. <laughs> I think he used the screwdriver. Flicked up the corner flap, put his hands in and got the 50 peas out, mm. uh, and then we were gone. And what did you do about finding somewhere warm to... Did you use the 50 peas to get a hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who next, David? Sarah. Yes? Tell the story of your encounter with Dennis. Um, I've <laughs> been out um, uh, drinking alcohol, with friends. I was over 18 and it was fine. Um, but um, my friend had given me this advice that if you exercise first thing in the morning, you sweat it all out and then you feel you don't have that hangover thing. So um, I ran from my house to the park and then I was just starting to go around in a loop and I was going to be so ill. I just kept thinking, be sick in a bin. No, don't be sick in a bin. And I was really desperate for water. And this, anyway... is, this is like listening to Paula Radcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> I was so concentrating on not being sick, I didn't realise my legs had gone to liquid. And then I just was, had my face in the grass. <laughs> and I was thinking, I'll just stay here, hopefully. People <laughs> <laughs> will think I'm a dead body. <laughs> and, what, and what did Dennis do? Well, Dennis came over and took my pulse. So that I could kind of feel... A bit sinister. <laughs> <laughs> so, did, 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 did he... No, 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 no. no. I, I... What was Dennis doing in the park? Was he... he works there, he's well, a park he... gardener. He's a park in, gardener, like Greenwich Percy park. the park keeper. Percy the park keeper? You've not read that? No, have you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is it? It's a children's book. Why are you reading it, then? Because I'm a father. He's <laughs> <laughs> got to have something to do when he's allowed to see them on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's, he's taking your pulse. What happens then? Well, he kind of took me up and walked me to a bench and then went and got me some water from the little hut where he works. What a lovely man. I'm going to write a series of kids' books <laughs> <laughs> all about him. Not sure yeah. it's the right market. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis the Menace has got a different ring to it now. <laughs> right, what about, uh, what about Lee? Lee is squeaky diesel. So where is this petrol station? It's, uh, it's about a mile from my house. So it's also convenient? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not so I pitched that I'd drive to Harrogate. OK, fair enough. <laughs> Can you give us an impression of how...? Well, I could try and do an impression, but Obviously I find... I find as... impressionism is for the lowest form of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> You like if I be you in your car, would that you, help? Can you do impressions of me? Can you... Oh, all right, I'm Lee Mack. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles run it. See, look, it's everyone who thinks it's hot. It's good with the way you said I'm Lee Mack because that, 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 that a clarifies lot. who you're trying to be. <laughs> Did you come up with the the name Squeaky Diesel? Or... I was that one, yes. And does Dennis know that? He does now. 
but he didn't before. No, he has no idea what he's doing on the show tonight. <laughs> I just told him, come along, I've got a free jumper for you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, one question. This might trip you up. OK. Does your car take petrol or diesel? It takes petrol. Ah, got him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just didn't think squeaky petrol had the same sort of scan to it. It just sort of... It felt squeaky diesel just sounds nice. What do you think, Tom? It seems so unlikely that Lee's car runs on petrol, not diesel. It's so undercuts the truth of what he's saying that I think it's probably true what he's saying. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, we need an answer. David's team is Dennis, Chris's burglary buddy, uh, Sarah's gardening angel, uh, or Lee's falsetto friend? Tom, what do you think? No, what do you two think? <laughs> uh, well, I was very taken with your Lee... It so, became such a bad mistake, wasn't it? But Sarah didn't like it when we were taking the mickey out of Dennis. Maybe that... There was a bit of feeling there, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, a bit of, like, genuinely, but, this man has helped yeah, me in the park. Could, but maybe it was just, uh, you know, acting... If yeah. it turns out you're lying, Sarah, yeah. Tom thinks you're a good actor. Yeah. If you're yeah. telling the truth, oh. he, he can you take or leave your performance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, personally, the one that rang true the most was, uh, was Cammy's, I felt. Really? Yeah, did you know? Really? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> I've just ruled out Sarah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well done. Beautiful acting, Sarah. But it's but definitely acting. Yes. Richard, would you like to rule anyone out? Yeah, I would, I would rule out Lee, I think. OK. Well, I mean... That's very easy, then. If, <laughs> if you're ruling out Sarah and you're ruling out Lee, I'll rule out Chris and we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to make a decision. So you, you, you think... You think... <laughs> you're Sarah. 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 It's Sarah. Now, OK, you're saying it's Sarah. Sarah. You're saying it's Sarah. You're saying it's a good man. Matter. I'll be it so unhappy matter. if I'm wrong. <laughs> if if I'm wrong, Christmas is over. <laughs> <laughs> OK, they're saying that it's Sarah. Dennis, would you please reveal your true identity? Yes, I'm Dennis, and Chris and I staged the burglary together. <laughs> yes, Dennis is Chris's burglary buddy. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you. Just say that one more time. Chris and I staged the burglary together. He has got quite a squeaky voice, hasn't he? Thanks very much, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... <clears throat> it's David. <laughs> Age nine, I undertook my first ever acting role as Joseph in the school nativity, a performance described in my end-of-year report <laughs> as world-weary. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. Why did they describe it as world-weary? I, I think perhaps... I thought Joseph would be tired after the long it's journey with the yeah. donkey and, and the finding that... And perhaps I overdid the tiredness <laughs> and didn't get... I didn't get into the wonder, perhaps, yeah. to the extent that... that yes, the but I think needed. acting coaches would, would say, you know, don't, you, you didn't go for the obvious thing of wonder. Yeah. I obviously, had an instinct for this wonderful... Doubt that you must have felt. You know, how did yeah. this happen? <laughs> you know, <who> exactly. <laughs> I don't know whether I understood that at that age. Could you give us, perhaps, as a, as a treat at Christmas, mm -hmm. a little taste of the performance? Yeah. Just, just give us a soupçon. I have some stuff here that could, <laughs> that could help you. Let's see. You can be the three kings. Oh, lovely. Yeah. OK. Pass them along. There, pass them along. Now then, imagine it was it was Joseph and Mary arriving. So why don't... Richard, you could be Mary. Thank you. That's very kind. There we are. Would you like to be a shepherd, Sir I'd very much like to be a shepherd. All right, you, you know what to do with it. Here's the baby. Now, remember, you've got to hide baby Jesus. He doesn't appear until later in the script. Uh, yeah, well, that's... I think that's... Well, I, that's, that's I, I, I know exactly where to hide that. Yeah. <laughs> Something for David. Yeah. And then 
Tom, would you mind holding the star as well? Yeah. No, I'll be Father Christmas as the innkeeper. <laughs> All right. You haven't arrived yet. No. Yeah. Okay. What, do you mean in my career? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, that, that's been and gone. Oh, OK. <laughs> so... <sighs> <laughs> just... I've literally just had a text from Sonia at my NCT class, and they've had... they've had the baby. All right, look at me still. Richard, yeah. Richard, I think you're getting the period a little bit wrong. <laughs> in those days, no, no, no text, nothing like I've that. Just, I've just seen a star in the sky, and it's Sonia from my NCT group. <laughs> <laughs> and they've had the baby. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's nice. nice. Boy. Can you stop going on about Sonia? Oh, but... It's just, I'm sorry, I know you get on with her, but it's been a long journey. Yeah, but that's because... <laughs> that's, because that's because her husband, Alan, has <laughs> already painted <laughs> the nursery. <laughs> and certain people haven't. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's back to Holmes under the hammer. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm very... <clears throat> you know, I found the whole thing very touching. But... <laughs> I haven't got any lines. <laughs> So, Tom, I'm so sorry. Bit. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, going to give, I'm going to give you a line. Tom? Uh, oh, be... I've got some here. Sorry, I, I know. That's oh, all right. right. You've got, got something. Some. <laughs> all right, so get ready. Yeah. So, yeah. the baby's yeah. coming. OK. Oh, look. Oh. oh. <laughs> and now a shepherd has oh. appeared. It, yeah. Yeah. I kick off every Christmas morning with a bird <laughs> for a and a sea of baby. There's our performance. So, are you willing to believe that David was a world-weary Joseph at nine years old? Yes, definite, definite for me. True. Yeah, he would have been a clever boy at nine years old. They would have asked him to be Joseph because he's got the gift of the gab. And at nine, he did have a beard. Yes. <laughs> it was harder for Richard to get the part of Mary because he was that yeah. height at nine. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's impossible for you to get the part of one of the wise men. <laughs> What are you going to say? We will say it is a truth. A truth. You're saying truth. David, truth or lie? <laughs> and it is a lie. Oh. Oh. It was a lie. <laughs> David didn't play a world-weary Joseph in his school nativity. Ah. Well, that noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show, and I can reveal that David's team have won by five points to one. Oh. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>